so I will take a U turn here, but uh, I can't see what is coming from opposite side. So like 50 on fourth gear or 60 on sixth gear, you will get good amount of fuel economy. So I have to mix and match to get best out right. of. So again, I have to perform left right side judgment. And you can see the signal turned green just now. So I overtake him and I've shifted to fourth gear. Now you can see this guy did not feel good when I overtake him. He suddenly increased his speed, but I had to reduce the speed because of the slow vehicles which came in front of me, right? So again, I downshifted and I just vanished from here. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Hope you are fine and doing well. Today I will tell you about real secret of precision driving. You may guess, I am going to talk about car side judgment, front judgment, rear judgment, but hold on, that's not the whole story. The real secret is lying in your ability to perform down shifting at your own will. Okay, so of course I am talking about manual transmission car here. So you may think, well, uh, what's the big deal in down shifting? But wait, my friend, tell me, can you down shift from third to second gear at 40 km per hour speed without slowing down the car okay or even little harder second to first gear at say around 20 km per hour speed so i think most of you are not aware of it right especially down shifting to first gear is critical and you must not do it unless your car is dead slow i mean less than 5 km per hour speed yes you heard it correct 5 km per hour speed. But wait, is it not self contradictory? Just now I was uh, telling you about downshifting to first gear at 20 km per hour speed. So, what's, what nonsense is this, right? Yes, my friend, I am talking no nonsense. People who drive race or rally cars or drive on hills use this technique all the time. And the name of this technique is rev matching. So, you have to learn rev matching if you want to master manual car driving. And this technique is so engaging, so satisfying that you will never look back to automatic once you completely learned it. Okay guys, so rev matching is all about matching your car's engine speed with transmission speed, right? So when do you need it? For example, when you are at a certain speed and you press the clutch and if you notice, you will see the engine RPM suddenly goes down the moment you press the clutch, right? So at that time, if you release the clutch all of a sudden or if you downshift, then what will happen? you will feel a sudden jerk and this will impact on the transmission system of your car. So how to avoid this thing? So to avoid this thing, you need to flip the throttle. Just now I did it and right now I shifted to third from fourth. Now see, just now I shifted to second gear. Did you see any jerk? It was so smooth, okay? So you need to press the throttle in such a way that your engine RPM goes up before your car speed drops down drastically and that is called rev matching and you need to practice it and I have made another video in the channel you can see it I put the link in I button now in front I can see uh, the signal is green and I will go straight see here I slow down and at that time at the same time what I did I downshifted to second gear because this second gear will give me more control because I need engine braking to be very precise on this type of congested road and very importantly what I would say that on this road people are coming from opposite side and that is very hazardous so I need more control over the car and that is why I downshifted to second gear okay and that gives me better engine braking and better control so friends along with left and right side judgment you have to learn this technique and this will give you proper control on your car uh, if you try to brake uh, on higher gear if you try to slow down on higher gear like fourth or fifth gear then what will happen your car will not slow down in that way see i have shifted to second gear okay just to be in more control okay my speed is not too high but second gear gives me very good amount of pull and also very good amount of engine braking here because this is purely a stop go traffic okay see now i shifted to third gear and started to follow the car which is in front of me and friends this is how you need to perform down shifting 
very smoothly while you are driving so here i want to pull the car a little bit faster so i'm thinking to overtake the bus from left side but suddenly it turned left and i did a turn shift to second gear after doing rev matching you can see from the right side another car was trying to or another car was taking attempt to overtake me so my idea was to overtake the bus before the car comes closer to me right so that is why i used rev matching and down shifted to second gear and quickly came to right side and overtook the bus so friends this is why we need to learn rev matching perfectly so the signal has just opened and i have shifted to 3 and this is my new technique of honking this is very annoying and very effective especially in this type of road where people uh, do not want to give you fuss okay so see here i rev matched once again because i can see little congestion in front of me okay so i am placing my car here using left and right side judgment and you can see the signal turned green just now so i think uh, there is a barricade in front so i need to allow the car in front of me to pass just to keep the traffic smooth right so the vehicle in front of me is moving little slow so i will overtake him from left side up shifted to third gear and again the same thing slow vehicles and three motorbikes so it is quite impossible and that is why i try to maintain a safe distance in this type of scenario because i have to save fuel as well right so again another red signal so i completely stopped here so the signal turned green and i pulled the car using first gear and started to move gradually i allowed the car in front of me so that he can pass and no congestion to be made here okay so sometimes we need to cooperate especially in this type of scenario and here i am using left side judgment i already shown you in my other videos that how i use reference points to judge left and right side perfectly okay so that technique i am also using here again that annoying honking and it is very effective very very effective uh, on this type of road okay especially uh, where people do not follow lane you can see slow vehicles on fast lane and uh, people are walking where they are not supposed to walk so that is why we need to honk sometime even though it is annoying here i am trying to maintain a distance uh, with the car in front of me and this type of technique helps to you know get some better fuel economy especially when the road is not very congested we should drive carefully Okay. I perform drip matching once again here because of the congestion and my idea is to pass the congestion quickly as possible here I am using third gear after drip matching I down shift it to 3 I am trying to maintain a safe distance right so I am trying to find gaps okay on the left hand side there is a slow vehicle so I have to change lane gradually i can see the car at, at my right side is not moving faster so i moved a bit ahead quickly and uh, changed the lane okay i first uh, maintain a distance from the car behind me and then i change the lane okay so another green signal so i crossed here very quickly now it's time to overtake this car so i overtake him and now shifted to fourth gear now you can see this guy did not feel good when i overtake him he suddenly increased his speed but i had to reduce the speed because of the slow vehicles which came in front of me right so again i down shifted and i just vanished from here okay so rev matching helped me to gain quick acceleration here and i just came out of that competition <laughs> not really but yeah sometimes people feel bad when you overtake them quickly it's all about psychology right so 
no no problem i i was driving uh, with my speed okay so uh, no offense right here another bottleneck so i performed rave matching here once again and quickly crossed this area so friend you can see how i used rave matching uh, to drive in this type of road where you can see different type of traffic movements slow vehicle and you need to adjust your speed all the time depending upon the speed of traffic you need to slow down you need to quickly accelerate you need to maintain speed you need to maintain distance depending upon the situation and here the rev matching is the s technique which helps you a lot so i will take a u turn here but uh, I can't see what is coming from opposite side, so it's a completely blind spot. Okay, I press the brake and let them pass. So now I think it's my time to use this gap, right? So I anticipated here and took the U-turn. So now I am using gear number three. Okay, from two to three, I have shifted here and then i have shifted to four so fourth gear is quite handy on this type of road it will give good amount of fuel economy and uh, on this type of road i try to maintain constant speed and that gives me good amount of fuel economy basically i try to compensate the fuel economy on this type of road because on congested road get good fuel economy but uh, on this type of uh, easy road or empty road see again i performed drive matching and down shifted to third gear so on this type of uh, empty road or easy road if you maintain certain speed like 50 on fourth gear or 60 on sixth gear you will get good amount of fuel economy so i have to mix and match to get best out of both world okay so another slow vehicle at the left side so i have to slow down and again i have to go right side and i overtake him i use left side judgment technique here so this is a congested road i kept that car outside of the reference point uh, in the middle of the dashboard you can see i am using third gear here to overtake okay third gear is very good on this type of road where you have closed traffic right so here the car is dead slow so i down shifted to first gear now second gear i won't uh, go out from this lane because on the left lane there are buses and they will stop and i don't want to follow them right so again i have to perform left right side judgment perfectly here because the barricade are placed here and it created bottleneck and that slow down the traffic and creates congestion very annoying but what we can do okay again slow traffic again fourth gear so now i think uh, there is another congestion or red signal in front i think we have to stop here for a while no the traffic started to move slowly and gradually i am moving forward following the car in front of me again another barricade i can see at the right side an ambulance is coming so i am gradually moving left side oh no this is not good okay friends that's it for today